to the foot from its child by Pablo Neruda is a narrative descriptive poem which narrates the journey of our child's foot until it becomes an adult foot and beyond until it dies. Besides narrating the experiences of the adult foot until its death, the poem also describes the changes that the child's foot undergoes until it becomes an adult foot. The journey of the child's foot is similar to the journey of life. The poet uses the foot as a metaphor and conveys his view of life. This metaphor helps the poet to convey the idea of how the child's spirit gets crushed through the challenges and restrictions that life places upon him. Thus, by personifying the foot, the poet expects the reader to compare the experience of the foot to the whole person's hopes and dreams as well as to the realities of everyday life. By and large one can infer that the poem is basically a criticism of how people force children to grow in their sickety and forget all their dreams and aspirations. The child wants to be a butterfly or an apple, but society is harsh and forces the kid to become a responsible adult doing responsible adult things. The transition of the child's foot into an adult foot and then until its death can be studied under four stages conveniently. The four stages are 1. Childhood 2. Experiencing Reality 3. Maturity and 4. Death and Rebirth. A brief description of each stage is given below, 1. Childhood, lines 1 to 2, the first stanza describes the characteristic features of the child's foot. It is an infant's foot and it does not know that it is a foot at all. It lacks awareness and hence it dreams of unlimited possibilities. It would like to be a butterfly or an apple. The foot has an optimistic view of life. 2. Experiencing reality, lines 316, here the poet highlights the impact of time on the child. As the infant's foot starts growing in the outside world, it begins to experience the harshness and pain of life while walking. When it steps over, stones and bits of glass, street ladders slash in the paths in the rough earth, it learns that its role is that of a foot the same way people become aware of their role in life. It realizes that it can neither fly like a butterfly nor become a bulged apple on the branch of a tree. The child's foot has now discovered that it is only a foot, its spirit loses its battle against the world is taken prisoner and is condemned to live in a shoe. It also means that the child's spirit becomes aware of its limitations as a human being and understands its role as a social being in human society. Now, having been imprisoned in a shoe, it gradually tries to understand the world in its own way. It is alone and cannot communicate with its counterpart, and gropes blindly in the dark like a blind man. The foot is not in the open and whatever ideas it forms about life, are formed in the confined space of the shoe. Here, it means, it is not in touch with reality directly. The society decides what it should understand about life or the world outside. Gradually, the foot adapts itself to its world and learns to cope with the harsh realities of life. 3. Maturity, line 1746. In this part of the poem the poet gives a graphic description of the changes seen in the child's foot during its transition from a child's foot to adult foot. The soft nails of quartz in the child's foot gradually grow hard and change themselves into opaque substance hard as horn. The tiny petal toes of the child's foot grow bunched and out of trim. The toes in the adult foot appear like eyeless reptiles. Later they grow harder and become calloused. In this stanza, the poet attempts to let the reader know that as the child grows into an adult it becomes less open to reality. It also means that people grow harder both physically and emotionally.